Welcome back to another episode, everybody. I'm going to try doing this with my new camera. And Ratchet is back. Look at all the stuff we've done. But uh, the camping setup is just about complete. Let's get you a look at her. And there we have it. I'm real excited about it. Look how well this is in there. It ain't going nowhere. And, okay, so let's see, we've got the table. There's some of the fuel and, and uh, the kitchenette stuff. Um, there's the oven and one of the burners. I have a Coleman backpacker downstairs. The computer, the oh, so nice ice maker. The bathroom, which is a pop-up thing. Here's the curtains for the uh, front windshield. And it is all made like modular and removable. See, here's the uh, back in here. I like this little shovel. This is going to be cool. But uh, back in here is the uh, is a big steel bowl and a big steel uh, basin to do whatever you need with. Food storage and the bed, water tank, a little sink. You know, you can come stop back here, get out the bowl, wash your face and hands, do whatever you want. And if we don't have that there, that's a strap actually off of the actual car itself. It's part of the seat. And it just so happened to have a hook back there so I can hook this up and secure it. But everything is real nice and snug and secure. And I like that because it doesn't shift around when you're driving. <clears throat> Maybe if we were going off-road, but today I uh, did something for that too. Put these on here. And this is where the old curtain rods, come to find out, used to be. Uh, Moto Cheese on his... Um, I don't know, Moto. I might buy those off you. Just let me know what you want for them. And uh, I, I mean, just just because. I mean, I don't know if you're selling them or not. Yeah, I, I, I personally, I wouldn't. I had a set built for this car that are magnetic, and they just pop right up, so you don't have to mess with it. But um, yeah, I noticed his has the curtains in it. And that's where mine used to be. But I put these handy dandy heavy D-ring hooks all over. There's some there. They go all the way to the front, so we can run paracord through them. We can, you know put a cargo net or a bungee cords or whatever you want to do to hang stuff rig stuff up got one down here where is it oh there it is there it is boy it's weird working with a viewfinder instead of your phone it's really a little bit less intuitive than you would think it is but yeah these are max rated I think at like 50 pounds or something like that so I mean they're not gonna hold ratchet straps but they'll hold anything else hang your coat or like I said you can actually even run them out the back and you can do a lot of things with these little guys but I uh, put some for the front seats too and then going all the way up I need to find a screw for that one but that one went on they all went on just bolt on easy stuff but now I've got actual cargo capacity so I can lash it down or if I've got you know a, a load and I want to take this stuff out because you know this all broke down into a lot smaller than I thought, and we still got room back here for get the shovel out. I like the shovel, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's about gonna be finalized. Like I said, this is modular. You know, if we wanted to bring a guest, we could throw the uh, tent cot back there, and he'd have a place to stay. And it looks like we're going forward from here. It's gonna be the window unit. We'll pack right here. And then the generator and gas can will pack right back there. And then, you know, you've still got 300 something pounds, I'm sure. 350. You have three, three, you carry about 300 more pounds, so that's about two and a half people with me, or um, maybe the dog, or maybe we'll just, you know, we fold the seats completely flat and we have that much more cargo space. Which, uh, this is a, a great little platform for it, but, uh, we're about to be van lifing. We'll show you again the inside. The finalized interior. She just got one little more radiator issue and she's going to be good to go. There's all the magnetic curtains and the fan. I don't know about this fan. I've never liked it. I think I'm a child. I just may take it out of there. It's really not good for much. I, you see I've melted it from blowing on fires with it, but that's about it. 
like I don't know if I I mean and it eats C batteries so we've got our little uh, jet setter table there tray table like an aircraft oh yeah and the uh, sunroof and mini windshield open yeah she's looking like a lot of fun we'll get you another well the zoom on this camera don't work too good does it at least it's not freaking mechanical like when you remember those videos I used to do where it sounded like and my voice would dampen out it would go like that and you hear goes from the motor and the damn camera but this camera ain't so bad but yeah those came in real handy ace hardware folks just when you try to find some weird little thing like that you're not gonna find it at Walmart or if you do the you know dude looking at you is gonna give you the dumbest stare in the world and act like you didn't speak English and then walk away after you give up hence that's about not ace ace is a place with the helpful hardware folks so uh, thanks for watching everybody just a quick update and I'll be back shortly